Okay, so now I'm gonna explain the second way, the plan B to make this inventory system. So we just created this inventory UI. So the next thing we're gonna do is to create inventory slot so we can receive items. So for this game, we will make two items. The one is portion and the, the other one is orange. And so, and so to make these two items, we're gonna make another class. So right now we have only one class, so this game class. So from here, we're gonna make new class. And first, I'm gonna name this class as super item. You can choose whatever name you want, but I'm gonna choose this name. And so super item class. And uh, we don't do much in in this class. We just uh, basically we're gonna set some parameters for items. So the one is string and name, and the other one is int, and uh, we're gonna name this as hearing value. Yeah, that's it. This class is done. And next we're gonna make another class. And this time, I'm gonna name this as a uh, item and a portion. So we're gonna make portion class. And here, item portion. So same name as the class name. And the bracket, bracket. And here, we're gonna use this name and. Uh, Healing value, so name equal portion. So this time we put some information to this uh, name string, and also healing value like ten. So this means if you drink this potion, then you can increase ten HP. Uh, but uh, yeah, we are seeing some error message. Because yeah, we haven't declared these variables. So usually, if you want to use you know these variables, then uh, yeah, you would declare like this: so string and name. Then you know you can use this name string and like int hearing value. Hmm. But this time, we don't do that. And instead, uh, we type like this extends a super item. Then, for some reason, the error disappears. So, why? Because so we just inherited the content inside of this super item class. So, that's what this extends super item means. So, this means this item portion class became like a child of this super class. So this is a, like a parent and this is child. So and the child class can use those you know variables or uh, stuff in their parent class without you know declaring like a string and a int. And so writing like this will make a lot of things easier to do later. Now uh, we we have created this portion class and this portion class is done, finished. And so now we're gonna make the orange class. So from here, we're gonna make another class. And this time we're gonna name this as item orange. Mm. And just like this portion class, we're gonna type item orange and the name uh, this time this is uh, orange so name is orange and the healing value is uh, minus two or something and so for this class as well extends super item so you know this class can use this name and hidden value so this orange class is also done
and we will make one more class and this time item um, like empty empty and uh, and basically this class is for the empty slot so we don't need to set anything here so uh, only name so name and uh, nothing just double quotation and also extends super item okay so this is done so we created four new classes super item class and item portion class and item orange class and item empty class so let's go back to this game class and first uh, here so we're gonna declare this item super item class we just created and uh, and so here we're gonna declare this super item class as a how to say array type class and uh, name this as a player item and new super item and five basically this will work as a inventory slot and we we have five slots so five inventory slots so that's why you know we just typed five here and the next is okay item portion and uh, name this uh, portion new item portion and uh, orange to uh, orange new item orange and finally uh, empty so empty equal new item empty So this portion is this portion class. So it contains this information, name and hidden value. So from now on, uh, we can you know, access to this information by using these uh, words, portion or orange or empty or player item. Okay, so uh, let's put some items into this item slot. So to do that, uh we're gonna type like this so here player setup we can type like this so play here item and uh, slot number zero equal portion and uh, player item one uh, orange and the player item to uh, empty player item three empty player item four empty yeah so So here we created this super item array uh, with five slots and the array always start from zero so we have one two three four five slots and uh, the portion is inside of the first slot and the second slot has orange and the other slots are still empty then now we want to display you know this content of our inventory slot on these inventory buttons so to do that uh, I think yeah here so if you click in inventory button then uh, okay item button one and set text and 
and inside of this bracket player item 0 and dot name and item button to set text play player item and one dot name okay we can copy and paste here three four five uh, bottom three and uh, bottom four and bottom five and uh, two three and four yeah it's a bit confusing because uh you know array always starts from zero so the number is different you know one and zero and two two and one and uh, mm. and this player item that name means so player item is basically super item so super item and so this player item dot name means this one name so you can access like a variables or other elements in other class you know by typing like this so player item dot name so if we want to access this healing value then uh, you can type player item dot uh, healing value but yeah and so if you open inventory then you can see portion and orange you know these buttons are showing the content of this item slot a while ago uh, we put portion into this player item and uh, we put orange into this uh, player item one so that's why a uh, player item zero the name is potion and the player item one's name is orange so although yeah it's accessing the super item but the super item is inherited by this item potion and item orange so since we we put potion into this player item slot zero so it can display the name and also orange and also we uh, so we put empty to these three slots so basically they are accessing this one name nothing so basically they are displaying nothing mm. so yeah that's how it works but now even if you click these items nothing happens of course because we haven't written any code for these button clicks so here but okay let's break here and uh, let's make another case and uh, yeah we have already set action command to these item buttons so we're gonna use this ac uh, action command so first case item one no yeah item one we're gonna call a new method called uh, item used and break and uh, okay let's continue and uh, item 2 item used break case item 3 item used break case item 4 uh, item used and break and finally item 5 item used and break and so we're gonna send some argument to this method so here is zero and one two three four so basically this is a inventory slot number so like this one zero one two three four and uh, so we're gonna make uh, this method so public void uh, item used 
and we receive uh, this argument here. So integer and the slot as uh, slot number. Yeah, so the program knows which button was clicked. And uh, so inside of this item used, we're gonna write the result of using item. So in this case, we use portion or orange. Either way, it affects your HP. So player HP equal player HP plus a play, player item. So this is a inventory slot and a slot number because we don't know which slot was used and that healing value hmm. so if you click this portion so and if you click this uh, bottom one this one then uh, it's gonna send this zero slot number to where is it to this method and so receive zero here and uh, it puts zero into this slot number so the program knows a uh, portion was used so it's gonna access portions healing value so this one so it's gonna access this one with this code and uh, okay and so let's display the result hp label number set text yeah so we have done this before player hp mm. yeah let's check the result okay inventory open and if you click this portion so your current hp is 15 yeah so your hp increases by 10 but uh, right now you can use potion again and again so it doesn't disappear even after you used it so if you use an item then it should disappear so to make that happen so we type like this player item slot number so this means uh, the item that you just used equal empty hmm. and also we need to display the result uh, item bottom one set text and the player item zero dot name and we're gonna copy copy and paste two three four five and uh, one two three four so we typed everything so this basically means yeah, it refresh the information on these buttons Maybe use slot zero or slot three, you don't know. So, you know, let's refresh everything. So, yeah, okay, let's check this. Okay, now if you click this portion, then uh, it disappears. If you click orange, it disappears and you cannot use it anymore. Okay, so yeah, it's working properly so far. And so, Maybe sometimes you receive a new item during the game. Then, uh, so we need to write a code to handle these, uh, you know, receiving new items. And also, uh, if your inventory is full, then uh, you cannot receive any more items. So we also need to write this kind of code as well. So let's do that. And uh, two, yeah. So and for this purpose, I have added this another NPC, a woman. A woman is standing on your left and also I have added these new buttons so talk to the woman so new option so if you talk to this woman then uh, this woman give you an item for free yeah so inside of this target method I 
added to this text. A woman is standing on your left. Also, this talk to the woman on choice three button. And uh, so, and here inside of this choice choice handler and uh, town gate position town gate. And so now G three is available. I'm gonna type talk woman method. So we're gonna call this method, and uh, we're gonna make this method talk woman. It should be around here after this talk guard, no attack guard. After this attack guard, uh, public void talk woman. Okay, and uh, uh, position talk woman. Okay, and the first. So we're gonna make integer uh, slot number and zero, and then we're gonna make while loop here, and so player item slot number. The condition is not equal empty and also as a condition is slot number is smaller than four so this is the condition of this while loop so basically this line is doing uh, uh, searching for empty slot in your inventory and uh, yeah slot number plus plus And then if statement player item slot number uh, equal empty. So this means if it finds an empty slot, then you can receive an item from this woman. So we can write the result here. So here, uh, first, how are we gonna type some text? Set text, uh, woman. You look hungry. Here, take this. And the line break. And uh, you receive an orange hmm. and then uh, play uh, item slot number equal orange because you you just got an orange hmm? orange yeah okay and we're gonna make another if statement here and in this case, you know, if your inventory is totally full, if you have no space to receive a, an item, uh, slot number uh, empty. So this basically means this while loop couldn't find a uh, empty slot and uh, reached uh, slot 4, the final slot, and still couldn't find empty slot. So that means your inventory is full. And uh, okay, we're gonna copy this and paste this, and uh, in this case, woman would say something like, uh, it seems you cannot carry anymore. Mm. Okay. And also, we're gonna add this like a continue button. We're gonna display this continue button. And also inside of this choice handler and after this attack guard. So we're gonna create another case and this time uh, talk 
woman and uh, switch your choice case and she one town gate so if you click that continue button then uh, this you know it will call this town gate again okay I think this is done so everything is done so yeah let's check this program okay so first we have potion and orange and if you talk to the woman then you look hungry here take this you receive an orange and inventory so you have two oranges now and if you talk to the woman again then uh, yeah three oranges and now your inventory is fu full and if you talk to this woman again then the woman says it seems you cannot carry anymore but uh, you know like if you eat these oranges then uh, then talk to this woman then uh, yeah you can receive an orange again yeah so this is the the second way to do this so this time we make this super item and item you know potion class orange class and empty class and uh, so compared to the first one so first one plan a so this is uh, I think this is a bit more complicated because you need to make uh, separated classes like this but uh, once you make these classes then uh, and uh, understand how this works then uh, it's more convenient and it's more efficient I think especially if you want to make a lot of items like 50 items or 100 items and also this time we only used name and healing value but uh, you know you can add other parameters too like uh, selling price or something selling price like uh, I don't know 20 goals or something so yeah you can add selling price or also like a buying price so and at these parameters so buying pr buying price is like a 40 or something Mm. you know using this super class or uh, you know in the individual class item class so you can easily access to these parameters so in the long run it, this will be more convenient way to do it I believe in the same way you can handle you know not only item but monsters as well so you can make a super monster class and you can make individual monster class like slime class skeleton class goblin class and you can make like a name and hp attack and defense and stuff like that experience point or gold you can get if you kill them okay i, I think i'm gonna sh show you the example so this is my dungeon crawler rpg uh, program and uh, so for example yeah yeah like uh, for example this is a weapon battle axe class and uh, also yeah super item class and uh, so for this game not only name and uh, hitting value but uh, like a type or buy price sell price weapon base weapon lore defense and uh, use message item effect category stuff like that so and uh yeah inside of this weapon so this battle axe class inherits this super item and uh, so type weapon name battle axe buy price uh, 550 and uh, sell price buy price uh divided by two weapon base four and uh, stuff like that and uh, so also if it's uh, so if it's healing potion class then uh, name and also like a use message so you can set the message 
that will be displayed when you use this item. So you use healing potion. So you don't have to type every time you know you use this item, but you can you know contain this information into this individual class. So you can always access. And so yeah, monster as well. So I have created this super monster class and set this parameter HP max HP or experience gold defense and uh, like if it's skeleton so name and uh, HP and stuff like that so every monster and uh, every items uh, has their own class <laughs> Yeah, we have this medicinal herb, and the medicinal herb is this one, and it's it has this string, use message string, and uh, you use the medicinal herb. So, so if you use this, so you use the medicinal herb, your HP is recovered by six. So this one, so you use the medicinal herb, your HP is recovered by six. So the program access this use message. Okay, so yeah, that uh, I think it was a pretty long tutorial, and uh, but anyway, that, that's uh, that's all for this inventory tutorial videos. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope I could explain in a way you could understand. So anyway, uh, thank you so much, and uh, see you again. Bye.